A while ago, I was sent a picture of the inside of one of these LED lamps. It's a typical golf ball style lamp that is used in decorative light fittings or the outdoor festoons. And what's interesting about it is that it's got this little circuit board inside it and it's got the absolute most simplest circuit possible for an LED lamp. Let me show you a close up of the circuit board. On the circuit board, we have the mains incoming supply going to the AC input of a bridge right far. The output then goes via two resistors through four LEDs, but each of these LEDs is actually six LEDs per package. So if I show you the schematic for this, and I'll zoom down this a little bit, there's the incoming supply, there's a bridge right far, there's the two resistors, and there's the LEDs. So the six LEDs per package for a total of 24 LEDs, it gives about 66.4 volts across all the LEDs. So they are dissipating about 0.33 watts at the 5 milliamp current that's flowing through the circuit. However, the two 15K resistors are both dissipating more per resistor than the LEDs. So it would be quite nice as increasing the number of chips in the LEDs. They could have used the 12 LED chips or they could have just added some more in because there is room there. They could have added a, a small arc of LEDs in here and that would have lowered the dissipation across these resistors. The other thing they could have done is they could have added a very small electrolytic capacitor across the output of the bridge rectifier. Something even like one microfarad, 400 volt, would have been all that it would have taken at this sort of current to smooth that and get rid of the ripple. That would have potentially increased the voltage across the circuit, but if they'd had more uh, LEDs in there, that would have compensated for that. And also, they do have the option they could, there's plenty of space. They could have added more resistors in here. They could have added one, two, three, four. It's not a super cramped design. And that would really have got rid of that flicker. At the moment, though, the circuitry is very, very simple. My idea of where they could put the capacitor, they could have put a couple of pads here connected directly to the output of the bridge rectifier, and they could have laid the capacitor across the top of that because none of this is really going to get very hot except the resistors themselves, which will get quite warm because of their dissipation. But an interesting lamp. It does have that slight shimmer as a result of not having the smoothing. But uh, it, other than that, you know, it's not that bad. And it's very, very simple. It's got a near unity power factor, the voltage and current in good sync. And it is just manufactured to be a cheap, simple lamp. But it does have scope for improvement in the future.